The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that as the crucified body of your dear son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Job. Job said, A mortal born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined and the numbers of their months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy like laborers their days. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground, Yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again until the heavens are no more. They will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service, I would wait until my release should come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the words of Psalm 31, verses 1 through 4 and 15 through 16. In you, O Lord, have, have I, I taken, taken refuge. refuge. Let, Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness. Save me. A reading from 1 Peter. Since Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention for whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin, so as to live for the rest of your earthly life no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme but they will have to give an accounting to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead, so that though they had been judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. 
So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what the impostor said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Therefore command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people he has been raised from the dead. And the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers, go. Make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Think back with me, if you will, will, to February 1st, 2020. It feels like ages ago now. On February the 1st, 2020, we had our vestry retreat. And if you remember, Donald Fishburn was here with us. And we were beginning the work of creating a vision for the year ahead. It was a a day that was exciting, a lot of new energy and a sense of passion in the vestry that was contagious. That night, February the 1st, my wife Louise and I attended the Children's Museum benefit party over here just down the street. Many parishioners were there. We had a wonderful evening. It was the end of a good day. I was casually chatting with a friend who is a physician, and I said, what's the story with that thing in Wuhan? Should I be worried? Not even remotely worried, he scoffed. Yeah, people are getting sick, but it's going to be contained. Don't worry about that. I felt a relief that night. See, I told Louise, people are just being anxious about nothing. Speed ahead to the end of February. At the end of that month, I was in Louisville for a church conference, and it was also a wonderful event. It was life-giving to be around creative people with passion and vision for the church. And we came home to Memphis, and that following Monday, I propped up my laptop on a stack of books in my office, and we were improvising and made what turned out to be what we thought our first weekly update video. If you can think back to the end of February, we dipped our toe into these waters before this whole mess even started. COVID-19, those words that we hear hourly. It first appeared in Tennessee on March 5th. The last time that you and I gathered in person in this beautiful church at the corner of Central and Greer was now nearly a month ago, if you can believe it. I don't know about you, but this whole experience has been so unsettling that the hours and the days run together. I've had to think back to my days of playing football and break the day down into manageable mental chunks so that I can make it. This has been unsettling, scary. At this hour on Holy Friday, there are currently 4,793 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state of Tennessee and 104 deaths. In Shelby County, there have been 1,147 cases with 26 deaths attributed to this pandemic that has thrown the whole world out of sorts. I'm anxious. I'm losing sleep at night. I'm worried about my safety, about the safety of my wife and children, I worry about each of your well-being, and I worry about St. John's. But there has been any number of small graces in the midst of this pandemic that are rays of light 
that shine into the darkness that we now feel. One of those small graces is that we have been able to provide digital content, for a lack of a better word, that we are now connected, though we are separated from each other. My favorite mural at St. John's is the one that most of you probably see the least. Today, I have a view of the high altar that you have every time that we gather, but it is this mural here behind me. Most of you probably uh, only notice it when you come in and out. I have the privilege of facing you and facing this mural, and I stare at it and I ponder this beautiful scene, Christ the Judge. On this Holy Saturday, we inhabit a liminal space between the death of Good Friday and the resurrection of Easter morning. We cannot lose heart. We cannot allow fear to consume us as we wait. Perhaps even now our Lord is beginning to draw shallow breaths into his lungs. We wait. At dawn, Easter will be here, and the power of hell and death will be vanquished forever. We wait, and we pray, and we keep watch, and we mourn our Lord's death. But we also feel his absence ever so acutely in this pandemic on this holy Saturday. Beloved, take one moment and pause and consider the long view. In the morning, the Son of God will rise and he will ascend to the right hand of the Father and from there he will judge the living and the dead. The tomb will not contain him but for a few more hours. At the same time, on this eve of the most sacred day of the year, let us not lose heart. This pandemic will continue. Tomorrow on Easter, the pandemic will still be here. And if we are truthful, we do not know when it will end, but we know how it will end. Tomorrow is Easter, and in spite of the death and the dying and the economic uncertainty that surrounds us, Christ will rise from the dead. Our story does not stop at the cross. Our story does not stop at the death on Good Friday. It feels at this moment as if the whole world is living in one continual Holy Saturday. But at dawn, Christ will rise. At dawn, we remember that our hope is alive and well. May God keep us through this coming night and all the nights that are to come. Precious Savior, save us from this time of trial. Save us from this time of pestilence and meet us at dawn's first light and save us. Please join in saying the burial office in the midst of death. In the midst of life, we are in death. It is found on page 492 of the Book of Common Prayer. In the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? From you alone, O Lord, who by our sins are justly angered. Holy, Holy God. God. Holy and, and mighty, holy, holy and merciful Savior, Savior deliver us not into the bitterness of eternal, eternal life. Lord, you know the secrets of our hearts. 
Shut not your ears to our prayers, but spare us, O Lord. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, mighty holy, holy and merciful Savior, Savior deliver us not, not into the bitterness of eternal death. death. O worthy and eternal Judge, do not let the pains of death turn us away from you at your last hour. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and, and mighty, holy, holy and, and merciful Savior, Savior Deliver us not into the bitterness of eternal death. And now, in the words that our Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead, lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from ever. Amen. Amen. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.